What's up, everybody? Go Burns here, welcoming you to the fifth installment of Q and A. And yes, I am running around as a kitty cat on Grand Theft Auto V on the next gen consoles. Thank you, Peyote Plant. <laughs> what a trip, right? Anyways, this uh, series gives you the opportunity to ask me whatever question you like, whether it's revolved around Grand Theft Auto, gaming in general, or etc. And we were actually going to do this last week, but a lot of things came up. For example, Turkey Day here in the States. That kind of delayed thing. So I decided to go ahead and just hold it off for a week. And I'm glad I did because I got some really good questions that we're going to get into right now. First off, let's go to a question off the PlayStation 4 from one of my subscribers, Caden. He asked me the other day, when do you think Heist is finally coming out? Well, first off, Caden, thanks for playing with me on the PlayStation 4. It's fun, as always. And, of course, it's always fun playing with each and every one of you, whether it's on the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One or the Xbox 360. Yes. So, the uh, Heist... Yeah, it's been kind of delayed, hasn't it, for a while now. Now, originally, it was supposed to come out with the launch of Grand Theft Auto Online back in 2013 on the last-gen consoles, but it got delayed. And then it got delayed, and yes, it got delayed some more. But I think Rockstar was sincere in the need to uh, tweak Heist to get it working properly in Grand Theft Auto Online. And that's why I think they initially delayed it as long as they did. And then eventually they decided, well, you know what? Let's just wait till we get it out on all consoles. Let's just go ahead and focus on getting, you know, Grand Theft Auto V launched on PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Then we can launch it on all four, last gen and next gen. And it'll be ready for PC when it comes out in January. So that is pretty much where my guess is going to be between now and January by the time PC finally gets their version of Grand Theft Auto V. But I would like to see it sooner rather than later, just like everyone else, Caden. Hopefully, maybe, just maybe, this Tuesday, Rockstar did promise that their next big update would be high. So it could be this Tuesday, it could be next Tuesday, or it could be next year. <laughs> The next question comes from Aced Gamers, and of course a longtime friend and subscriber over on the Xbox 360. He wants to know, where do I see myself in 10, 20, however many years? Well, Adam, thanks for the question, as always, as well as your support, your views, always watching my videos religiously. Thank you so much for that. Now, where do I see myself in 10, 20 years um, if I'm still around? Um, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll be president of America or king of the earth or I'll still be doing this YouTube channel. Maybe, maybe by then I'll have uh, up to uh, 400, 500 subscribers. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of a pessimist. I don't know if I'll be around in 10, 20 years. I mean, the earth could be blown to bits by mankind's insanity by then. Or we could be invaded by aliens. Or there could be a solar flare that wipes us all out. Or we will all be around in 10, 20 years and we'll be whining and complaining about things. And uh, who knows what the future holds. If I could foresee the future, Ace Gamers, I would have uh, won the lottery a long time ago. But anyways, I really do appreciate that question. I just wish I had an answer because, to be honest, I really don't. And here's another one I may not have the answer to. Submitted by another one of my friends and subscribers over on the Xbox 360, Delinquents. What's your New Year's resolution? Okay, so when it comes to New Year's resolutions, I learned a long time ago that there's really no point in a New Year's resolution because it's always broken. Whether it's to eat healthier, to diet, to exercise, to read more, or to do this more, do this less, you end up, well, dropping the ball sooner rather than later. So I try to stay away from New Year's resolutions, and that's my New Year's resolution. Just say no to resolutions. <laughs> Thanks as always, delinquent. Okay, the fourth question coming from a friend of mine, Chris, over on the PlayStation 4. He has a really good question. Actually, it's two questions, but I'll let it slide this time, Chris. 
just for you. Which 2015 game are you most excited about? And which are you most concerned about being let down by in 2015? Okay, really good questions. Technically two and one, but let's start with the first one that I'm most excited about. As most of you know that follow me, I have mentioned this certain video game coming out in June 2015 once or twice. It was supposed to come out in October this year, but got delayed. And by now, you should know which game I'm talking about. Oh yeah, The Dark Knight. <laughs> the Caped Crusader, Batman Arkham Knight. That is the game I'm most excited about in 2015. Now there is supposed to be a lot of really cool games that's coming out around the corner in 2015. Like maybe, just maybe, a brand new uh, Zelda game. Which would probably be the only reason I may even consider getting a Wii U. I mean, I have an Xbox One, I have a PlayStation 4, and I have an Xbox 360, but I do not have a Wii. Even though I'm, I grew up as a Nintendo fan. I was a Mario fan, a Zelda fan, but to date, I do not have a, a Wii console. And if the new Zelda game is awesome, as it should be, hopefully it will be, I might just have to break down and buy me a Wii U just to play that game, if it comes out in 2015. But there's other games that might be around the corner, such as uh, Battlefield Hardline, which, honestly, I don't really see the point because, well... First person, Grand Theft Auto 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, kind of sort of trumps that. Um, uh, okay, I'll say the game that I'm going to be most disappointed and let down by is the fact that they just recently leaked information, intentionally most likely Ubisoft, of yet another Assassin's Creed game. Assassin's Creed Victory, set in Victorian London. Now, it's a cool era, Victorian Le London. Don't get me wrong, I think that's a cool time. You know, Jack the Ripper, Sherlock Holmes, but... I'm getting kind of sick and tired, and I think most people are, with Assassin's Creed games coming out on an annual basis, especially since just recently we had two games, Unity and Rogue, and there were issues with both games. It just seems like par for the course from Ubisoft, so I'm very, very hesitant to uh, get excited about a new Assassin's Creed game so soon especially with uh, the recent track record by Ubisoft. So that is probably where I'm going to be let down by, but really I shouldn't be surprised if Assassin's Creed Victory ends up having you know, problems just like Unity and Rogue had. Okay, the fifth and final question is coming from Three Skilled Llamas. Why does your voice sound like Morgan Freeman having sex with a unicorn? Uh, by the way, he says this is a compliment. Well... <laughs> Thanks. I <laughs> appreciate it. I guess throwing Morgan Freeman and a unicorn in there, you know, that kind of is a compliment there. So thank you, Three Skilled uh, Llamas. And uh, I don't know, what what is it about Morgan Freeman when he gazes upon a lovely, beautiful unicorn, last of her kind, and just, boom, hearts just start flying all over the screen. <laughs> what is it that leads Morgan Freeman and a unicorn to me? <laughs> well, I mean, I started out in radio. Back in my early 20s, I took voice and diction classes back in college. But I guess it's just my voice. It's one of my strong points, along with my dreamy blue eyes. <laughs> but anyways, getting off topic there. I really do appreciate the comment, and uh, hopefully you guys love my voice. I know I can get a little loud sometimes, which is why I do try and turn it down a little bit whenever I'm uh, doing editing and post-production, because I do get a little louder than uh, <laughs> I, I should. It's my dad's fault. He has a really loud voice, too. Anyways, that concludes Q&A 5.0. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button. And be sure and check out my channel for awesome content seven days a week. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Each and every subscription really does help my gaming channel grow. You can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, both linked in the description section. And, of course, you can follow me and play with me on all three consoles that I've already mentioned. The Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Gamer tags linked as well in the description section. Have a great weekend, and as always, thanks for watching.